or sail. I'm going to do a pre-eclipse reading now, just to see what the general energies are, because already I can feel it. All the birds have gone quiet, and that's earlier than usual. It's usually only within 24 hours before an eclipse. They've gone really silent. Um, so I want to see what's going on. I'm going to use the Rasuli cards. I'm going to ask, what are we moving away from? And I'm going to set up a series of piles. Three. Where are we at at the moment of the eclipse? How does that moment, what's the energy at the moment of the eclipse? And then what is the energy forwards past the eclipse? So three sections. I can't do 12. What is the energy post the eclipse? I've gone right down on the floor. Oh, it's this old chestnut. Okay, so now I'm going to take uh, the shamanic deck and add to each pile. So what are we moving away from, please, shamanic? What are we moving away from, please, shamanic? What are we moving away from? What are we moving? What are we moving away from? What are we moving away from? What are we moving away from? Just the one card, which I've just bent really badly, catching it. What are we moving away from? Oh, that's really weird. They flew three here, and one landed on the next pile. So that's that done. I'm not going to look at them. I mean, I can see one of them because it's landed just face up. What are we moving away from? Three of those, well, what are we moving away from? What's the energy of the eclipse itself? What's the energy of the eclipse itself? What's the energy of the eclipse itself? And what's the energy we're moving into after the eclipse? What's the energy we're moving into after the eclipse? What's the energy we're moving into after the eclipse? That's a lot of cards. I don't want this to be too long. So now we're gonna take the lovely Muse Tarot. What's the energy that we're moving away from, please? Busy, 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 busy cards. There's a lot of busy, 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 busy cards. That's, I mean, that's like a reading in itself. Maybe we'll do it in three parts. Or I'll just talk really, really quickly. What's the energy of the actual eclipse itself? What's the energy of the eclipse itself? What's the energy of the eclipse itself? Got four there for that. And I want to say that the energy of this eclipse is really twisted. It's quite brittle, quite brutal, I'm um, getting that through. So what's the energy that we're moving towards? What's the energy we're moving into after the eclipse? What's the energy like after the eclipse? Oh. Hierophantrix is on the floor, and that is the energy that I keep saying we're moving into after the eclipse. So we've got those, um, and then lastly the light seers. What's the energy we're moving away from, please? What's the energy we're moving away from, please? That one just rang the bell. Um, fake fairy tales is what it's saying to me. Uh, falsehoods. What's the energy of the eclipse itself? What's the energy of the eclipse itself? What's the energy of the eclipse itself? Oh, they tried to get into that part. And um, what's the energy we're moving to after the eclipse? What's the energy we're moving to after the eclipse? Just wants that one card, which is quite good because there's so many in that card. Right, so we're ready, we're off, we're doing this. We're gonna ding the bell to cleanse the air. What are we moving away from? Do you know what? We're moving away from something that's so aggressive. That <laughs> hurt my ears. So, Let's uh, see what we've got. Um, mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, just going to give them a quick look because there's some mixed messaging going on. So, what are we letting go of? Limitation. Um, so, this is his card. It says, lean into your limitations. This is about what we're letting go of. And the energy that I'm getting from this card is the sense of how limiting the age of Pisces has been. Um, it's like by limiting other people and, and sort of stepping on the toes or the dreams or the hopes of other people was the power. That was power. Power was to... Uh, it's, this is reminding me of the energy that's been going on since the emotional eclipse in December last year. This is the energy of the sacral being broken open for a new loving energy to come in. To lean into the limitations that have been put on us by the age of Pisces. And it's, it's going to be time locked away. This is the card that I dented, the Time Master. So this card, 57, which is a 12, is the old energy. Now that was in someone's reading, but I can't remember who, but it's the division of time into 12 equal units. And how, as we're moving forwards, we're going to be coming towards the energy of 13, which is a divine feminine number of creation and birth. So there's a real change that's coming on. Um, right now, because this is about what's going on with us now, is there's a change taking place within our molecules, within our physical body. And it's a very, we've got the card of reflection. It's almost like, we're reflecting on issues from the past, but also trauma of DNA. The moon's in this picture, preparing itself to become a new moon. Um, you need to witness things with your eyes. The eyes are blue on this wolf. And they're telling me that this is about allowing your eyes to communicate truths, to see through the veils. You're, in the distance, in the past, is the original... You know this subject, I wanted to say original sin, but that's not what I mean, because nothing's a sin, but original trauma. So the DNA that was uh, planted in the molecules that's been echoing and echoing and echoing throughout this period, it's now time for that to give its last howl. It's become tiny, it's so distant, and you need to you need to communicate with see with see with your eyes the truth of it and see that it's not fully you and this this is about the divine masculine energy uh coming in so the emotional and the raw masculine is now is now fading away this is about us putting and bringing um our spirit into the earth and before that this uh, the next card is 16 it's expansion educate your mind and senses there's going to be an upgrade of our minds and senses but now this card is usually talking about expansion and it's usually but this is almost about um discomfort this is there's this isn't the, i know it says expansion but this card today the energy of this card is about how the energy of the earth has been stifling, has been um, traumatic, has been um, suffocating. Suffocating is exactly the word it needs. And the, the, it's the reverse of expansion. It's like this, this is raw and masculinity and he's trying really hard to keep the globe open, the world open, the physia that he has found to be his power, 
This fissure now is closing. This is closing up on him. This is going to bring an end to this energy. And there's nothing you can do because we're moving towards this energy. We're moving towards divine abundance. And that's not money. There is coinage in this card. But you have to remember that the coins uh, and these cards were designed during the age of... Um, of uh, Pisces, this is really about other abundances. It's much more about uh, the wealth of provisions, the wealth of nourishment, the wealth of emotions is what's coming as the energy frequency changes. So the next two cards, we have the wonderful Mercurial Knight of Cups in his full Mercurialness and the Ten of Pentacles. What are we leaving behind? We're leaving behind the illusion of this fairy tale that never came. You know, the empty promises, the, the, that kind of energy, the thing that held you back, the sort of... And I, I am hearing them say that sort of the sense of the American dream that has been always held up. I and mean, it's not just an American dream. They're saying that because you will understand the words. But the American dream, at whose expense? Everybody's, apart from a few. And it's all very well for those that have achieved a moment within that dream. But this is now about a greater collective. We're entering the age of Aquarius. By the end of this year, we have another eclipse coming up. When the other eclipse comes up, the Lords of Karma planets will be in Aquarius. They will be in the zone of uh the collective and so at the moment this is the beginning of the change this is when things will start to move forwards so next we have um okay they want me to read these cards backwards they're in the wrong direction we're all in this we're in this reflective hermit moment with the energy of the sun and the moon just beginning to bring about a new energetic frequency and it's massive i mean um d d people are detoxing at the moment people's food habits are changing the dog reading talked about that um people are breaking old habits people are removing patterns um, not everybody is, but not everybody's waking up yet. You know, the people watching this channel and listening are people who are a lot more awake and they want the changes quicker. They're the ones that have got to become the beacons of light. So you've got next uh, the... Um, the f mm, sorry, now they're... Uh, I, I want to hold this card up because this is what you're going to become. You're letting go to become a beacon for the collective, okay? To shine your solar plexus um, energy of divine masculine sun, which will allow the divine feminine energy to descend into the earth realm. Coming down, moving through the stages since the 1960s, coming down, you've got the raw energy here of Kali Ma, the sexual energy, You've got the emotional energy. You've got the damaged emotional energy that can't look at oneself. All of those ages of um, consciousness. And I do why it, it is feminine consciousness, but I don't want you to think it's only affecting women. This has been something that's affected everybody. But the point is, is that your consciousness is driven by the feminine archetyped energies. So that's coming down to change. That's moving... We're moving away from all of that and we're getting to that point of properly bringing our consciousness into the earth, closing up these wounds, these traumas and, and closing them down so that we can have a healing. And here we've got four, four, which is actually quite beautiful. Fours are a really important number uh, for me, for this staticness and healing. And an eclipse is always a static moment. And this eclipse, its fullness takes place over uh, two or three hours as it moves, creating the eclipse chase, the eclipse chase all the way along 
through Africa, through India, but it, when it gets to its fullness, wherever you see it in its complete annular corona with the ring of fire around the outside, and there are lots and lots of circles in this reading. When it gets to that, um, it's only about, it only lasts about 82 seconds, wherever you're witnessing it from the earth plane. So it's again, it's that notion, from the very beginning of this COVID lockdown period, there's been um, a double frequency. There's been um, a slow earthbound Saturnian comforting natural world mother nature loving energy and above it has been this frantic throwing the toys out of the pram inexcusable lying cheating this falsehood promising to deliver things and never coming up and that's been the really rapid fast frequency that's just beginning to it's beginning to shake its molecules so much that it's it's becoming fragile and it will collapse so for all of you that are sitting there looking at your own global countries or um, politics and thinking nothing's changed, it has changed. It has changed. The piece, it's like a game of Kaplunk. And I'm telling you, the right straws and stalks are being pulled out now and all those marbles are going to come tumbling down. So we're in a 4-4. Four, four. four healing staticness. It's also for here in the UK... Um, it's at 4.44 that the sunrise comes up and at 4.46 that the eclipse begins. So for me, this energy of the four is uh, very relevant. But also, 44 is the master number of the spirit realm where dead ancestors um, and uh, friends and people like that reside. So there's a real sense of the energy of those that you've passed are coming down to heal your your heal you we have the four of voices healing your thoughts bathing you in which is so beautiful saturnian love energy this energy of gaia so there is saturn when you see this card upside down you realize that actually the sort of lake or pool or bathtub in which you're healing is just the totality of the cosmos this eclipse is so huge in what's taking shape and place within it and then the key to this next card which is materials which is the real world is the blossoming um it's got wonderful orange red and yellow roses around her pink of the higher heart but this is about the healing that's taking place of our bodies of our molecules and it's got the tiny symbol of the camel, nourishment, to be nourished, to feel nourished, to feel for the first time that dark older energies are beginning to slide away. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean that overnight suddenly everything's going to get better in the world of the media. They're still having a bit of a battle over everything that's going on. <gasps> Whoa, so now we're looking at the actual energy of the eclipse itself. This has got a busyness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so, mm, what have we got on these? Oh wow. So, Uh, that one's upside down. There we go. So, we're beginning with the Rasuli card. Overall energy, trust your gut feelings. Let your heart be led to who you are. Now, for a lot of us, we've not been able to trust our gut feelings. Um, oh, that's really interesting. So today, the my lovely friend, uh, Michelle, the nutritionist, Michelle McKenzie, you can look her up. She was talking about an article she's read. I'm a bit obsessed with gut bacteria because gut bacteria is uh, magical. It talks to your brain. It does all kinds of things. And the health of your gut bacteria is quite important to us. And again, this is going to the energy of food and diet changing. It's definitely happening with this eclipse. So um, for years, we had something like 7,000 different crops that we were using to make food with. And this 
enabled us to have a very uh, varied bacteria in our stomachs and that's good for us um, but the modern food industry has kind of reduced that to kind of 12 key crops that are being used and it's narrowed the bandwidth of our gut health so actually trusting your gut feelings has become quite difficult because they're, they're almost stripped bare of the magic that's inside your gut through gut bacteria and bear in mind there are more bacteria in your body than there are atoms and cells that's how busy it is and they're very 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 important and she's read this article that says that gut bacteria is affected by moon cycles um, I haven't read it yet I'm going to go home and read the article but I'm very fascinated by it and that's the energy that this card's talking about there's also a very small uh, thing here and I would like spirit please to explain what that is what's that tiny little pink it's cleansing your glands okay why um, toxicity um, This, the, the energy of this eclipse is to change. You see just here, a little tiny pink, um, and it's going into the armpit. Um, and they're saying to me, it's our glands and our bacteria are really messed up. Okay, so they're, they're, they're saying to me, we're poisoning ourselves with deodorants you need to look at what you're putting on your body in your body how often you're putting chemicals all over you because all of the things are designed to weaken your biome to weaken your field and that's making it very difficult for people to trust their gut feelings when the bacteria in you knows what's good for you and talks to the brain we're losing that connection okay so that's the beginning of this energy of trust your gut feelings now now we've got the magic and this really is absolute magic we've got a two two is union we've got an 11 a five and six and we've got a 13 in reverse so it's almost and i do keep saying that the energy of the eclipse is that the we've gone through the emotional masculine when we had the eclipse last year on Boxing Day, 26th of December. That was emotional masculinity. This is about divine masculinity, hierophant energy coming on. And it's, it's going to turn the disc of energy right over. It's already turned way up in the cosmos. Gaia has got this now. That changed ages ago. But the fractal energies have been coming down into the Earth. With this eclipse... It's being turned on its head, and that's why they're giving me this card of the lower world, personal demons, being reversed. 1331. So, um, 1331 might be a good number to look up, um, angel number-wise. So, in this card, it's saying that, oh, look, your heart's been imprisoned in demon, in your personal demons. That's really interesting. Um, and there's old skeletal remains. There's, um, there's like firefly energy as well. The beginning, the birthing of new um, hope, new hope within things. Um, everything uh, melting. There's a sense of purifying. There's a... Uh, the bridge to your inner sacred space it's lit and it's ready for you to walk into but they're saying it's like you've got to walk to your sacred space from this place of fear for the last time and it won't be but that's what the intention is that you set to know that this world of personal fears was all created from the age of Pisces and that that's being dissipated. Now, what do we have coming in? We've just got, this is just such tremendous energy. Uh, two, five, six, the Andean cross and thunder. 
I actually feel like it's got to go that way around. From within, the Andean Cross is source energy. This is the heart of the eclipse. And from that energy is coming the bison. And the bison energy is so fast. And this comes as a blessing and a warning. So ride, run with this energy change and be carried with the bison. Stand in the bison's way, be trampled on. The change that's coming with this eclipse happens. It just happens. It's not gonna be stopped for all of the age of Pisces, raw masculine aggression. It can't stop it. It's Andean cross energy. It's source energy that has come down and it's coming, it's coming with such immense force. I can't say how much power, but look, I want you to understand that none of this power that's coming from this Andean cross, it's not aggressive. It's loving. But the point of the natural world is universal law it's almost like a wave of energy. It's like a tide. If you stand, the tide will swallow you. So you have to be sensible about this. If you want to stand in the way of change that's coming, it will swallow you, unfortunately, because you are just energy, and to the Andean Cross, you will just return to the Andean Cross source energy. It's not gonna worry about the pieces that fall in the way. Now, I'm not saying there's going to be a load of natural disasters. I'm just because the energy that's coming out of this is unconditional self-love. 48 and 42. I mean, seriously, the energy of these two cards. This is divine feminine energy. This is forgiveness. This is the energy of loving yourself recreating a new world, embracing a new world. Around uh, the unconditional love's aura, I am seeing um, a, like an ancient Sanskrit prophecy or something. Uh, I don't understand it, I'll be honest, but I'm being given the energy that there, it's all, oh, okay, so, It's like it's been written in the stars. This can't be changed. This is just what happens now. This is just a new frequency. This energy of the sacral being opened and emptied so that self-love can come in is what brings the change. It's completely loving, but there's no place for this. Lower world demons of fear can't have a place. This energy is racing from the heart of the cosmos to bring such wonderful, kind, loving, embracing energy. So, then we have, oh no, we've got these cards as well. Sorry, I forgot about those. So, I, I'm just gonna begin with this one. Look, this is about weaving of tapestries, um, the creation of things. Um, the, the guy is standing at the top and he's holding up his, um, his age of Pisces creation. And he's going, look, 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 this is what I made. And the, this emotional feminine woman is waving her faded hand and her other hand at him and she's just saying bye it was really nice yes yeah, lovely I really this is lovely but look the divine feminine she's she's making something new now so you can bye you can go now nice seeing you they're not cross they're not angry with him it was his moment it was his little art of work, work of art that he was building so we've been given the key it's really interesting. This is the Idrisil 
key. This is a land of abundance. This is star filled, but it's feminine energy. And she's writing a whole new world for people. I mean, look, it's not gonna happen overnight. You have to understand that. I keep saying that all the time, but the energies are forming for this change. We're being given an olive branch. We've got here um, um, 33, which is the master number of the 3D world. So we've got, actually I'm gonna hold them the other way around. It makes more sense. So we have the three of inspiration, new, divine feminine, emotional feminine, raw feminine portals have been forming. And from within them, it's almost like this energy. This is, this is the new collaborative energy that's forming within the divine feminine. Okay. And it's, what was written before is no longer relevant and it's not it's cut they so okay in my head they're saying this tapestry all this history it doesn't matter none of it actually matters it's only mattered to reinforce the ages in which we were living to keep creating the fears to keep refueling at the garage of personal demons to keep everyone in that fear that all goes this is all about much more uh creative flowing collaborative energy and we have the five of voices and the devil so that's one five five now this five of voices is the olive branch and this is about, it's interesting, this really is talking about us merging our body, our molecules into the earth with our consciousness and how this is the beginning of the three ages of woman. There's a very distant gateway, which we're heading to. Sorry, I need to hold these up. Oh, do you know what? That's so weird. That woman just made me think of a nun. She's nothing like it, but um, it's about so this is the olive branch that the divine feminine is bringing to merge our molecules and our consciousness and there is that sense of the people sitting below looking into the darkness and praising the age that's passed it's really important to give gratitude so uh, this morning i was taught a really interesting um not exercise, epiphany, I guess. So my earliest negative memory is of a headmistress when I was about five, uh, because I could read, um, and lots of, of the other children in the class, because I was born in October, so when you go to school in September, I'm almost a year ahead of people born in July, so I could read. So we were taken out of class, the ones that could read well, while the others learned to read, and we had these, pointless classes with the headmistress and uh, and it was new we were at school you don't know how to do things if you're asked a question you don't know to put your hand up you shout the answer out and this headmistress was the first adult to actually speak to me in a grotesque way and she said to me shut up you little big head okay now I had a very big head when I was a child so I couldn't understand whether she meant no all or whether she was insulting the fact that I had an enormous head because I was going to grow up to be six foot three. So it, it was the first point at which an adult took a very jolly child and just said something abusive and it never left me. This morning the epiphany was that actually you need to look into these darknesses from the past during this eclipse. Because what I realize now is, is that's the point at which I'm pulling an anchor back from spirit through time to anchor it down so that I have a reference point from which to grow and see how the pains that you feel emotionally were created by another for you to learn strength, for me to learn how to move towards uh, a greater sense of light okay so this devil card is 
is showing you you and the idea of your higher self being this area above. But in this card, there's um, a very distant portal and they're saying to me there's butterfly wings, transformation taking place within ourselves. This is becoming divine femininity, our consciousness coming in. Emotional femininity, royal femininity, it doesn't matter which way around they are, but they're all part of our higher self energy. And in the very far distance is a volcano erupting with transformative energy. And this is that sense of the eclipse reaching that point over the Himalayas to make the land mass divinely masculine so that the divine feminine consciousness energy can come through our molecules, through the sacral, into the ground and earth us. Because over time, the energy of the earth is going to transform to divine feminine energy. And then our consciousness will become divine masculinity. It's an exchange that's taking place. It's a transferring of power. It's this, there's an, it's an olive branch because the cosmos does everything in peace. It doesn't seek retribution. It just knows this is universal law. This is a change that's happening. And it's coming, as we said earlier, it's Andy and Cross. Source is doing this regardless of what all... And it is, it is, you do have to laugh at the moment at our many male politicians who are just up to their old tricks, trying so hard to refuel us at the gas station of personal demons. And do you know what? That's another thing they are saying to me now is we've got, we are going to have to move away from oil. Oil is the lifeblood of the earth. And we're, we're bleeding the earth of its lifeblood. And we have to stop doing that. We will. That's the point. Because source is coming in with unconditional love. Okay, so that's the energy of the actual eclipse itself. Where... Where, 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 where are we heading as we go past it? So, Laura, 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 Laura cards here. So, oh my goodness, there's loads of those. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cosmic cards. Okay, so we start with the Rasuli, Life's Purpose. So, seek your own deeper vision for life. This is about creativity. In her picture, her jug, she, this is her sacral. This is her new, she's filling her sacral with self-love, um, dreams, imagination, magic, things that she wants to manifest for her life as she moves forwards. What's happening as we move forwards because we have self-love, the sun is coming back out. And that's what eclipses are all about. We have been, through the age of Pisces, blocking the energy of, the, of our inner truth. But we were meant to. We really were meant to because the energy of the sun was wrong. It's like that sense that when we first went into lockdown and all the planes came out of the sky and all the cars vanished, I mean, all the cars are back, the planes aren't so much still, but the levels of pollution dropped, but also there was a real sense that the sun that was coming down felt less harsh. And, and Spirit kept saying to me that part of it is that when there's too much pollution, because there used to be a thing they talked about which was global dimming, the sheer levels of, of polluting particles in the sky were causing light to be thrown back. So not as much light was coming into the earth, into our sphere, and yet we were getting hotter. Um, and then they stopped talking about the global dimming effect. But there was a real sense that all those particles lifted. Now, ordinarily, Spirit's saying that the light that was coming through to us was being distorted as a frequency by those... Um, pollution particles and they were burning us they were being harsh on our bodies they were creating distortions and cancers in people and that actually by removing the pollution as we move forwards the energy of light and the sunshine becomes more gentle again and much more nourishing 
Thank you, nourishing. Okay, so we, as we go through this, this is, they're trying to say to me, it's not over yet. So there are three cards, 11. This is the dark night of the soul. This is the energy in the earth grid that's still there. Life brings new meaning, but for some people, this has to happen. It's not happened yet, and it has to happen. And we've got a whole rest of this year as we head towards the next eclipse, which is coming on the 14th of December. Um, Chile and Argentina are the two places where we're gonna witness it. So life brings new meaning. Then we have 34 spirit messages, observe limitations. So this is echoing back to the card that we had um, in this deck, which was lean, uh, lean into your limitations. Limitations um, has been power. So this energy that we're leaving away doesn't just go with the eclipse. It's going to overhang, but that sense of the raw masculine power is now fading. The kaplunk straws are being pulled out, the marbles are coming down, but we've still got quite a few rungs to pull out before everybody reaches this transformation. So there's gonna be, there's still this toxicity that we have to clean out of our systems. Now, if you're riding the wave, it's already happening. You're having, uh, uh, you're having problems with your guts and things at the moment, and that's why we also had the other thing, trust your gut feeling. There's a lot of physical energy frequency changes because your molecules in your body are changing. So you're getting a transformation. Okay, now this is, I want to see, excuse me one second. I wondered if there were any 13s in this frequency. We've got 12s, we've got 11, 12. No, I just wondered whether the 13 would show up. It's not due. Maybe that's got something to do with the new eclipse in December. Because I feel like they won't tell me anything yet about the new eclipse. Because we've got to get through this one. So, there is a transformation forming for people. And it's, it's gateway energies. It's passing through gateways. How do we get through them? We need to start to communicate with ourselves, our higher selves, our guides, our bodies, our molecules. We need to show gratitude for things for our transformations to take place. She's holding, she's encouraging the energy of transformation, being kind to ourselves, self-loving, beginning to see changes, create possibilities, think outside of our box. And the eclipse energy is bringing us an energy balance within the earth. This is uh, earth lotus energy opening to embrace the flow of the divine feminine right down into this new energy that the earth is opening. And I love this card so much. Actually, I'm going to put this above because this is, this is divine feminine. So 68 is the energy balance, and uh, that's a 14, which makes a 5, which is change. And you have 17, 8, abundance, the galactic healer, move forwards with an open mind. That's this idea that you've got to think outside your box. But this is your divine feminine consciousness moving down, okay? So I'm just going to bring her in because she needs to be faced. This is everybody's divine feminine consciousness. Everybody is meant to be a galactic healer because we're all here to heal the earth, to heal the frequencies and to change and heal each other. That's the purpose of everything at the moment. So restoring balance with people through their dark night of the soul. Now, we have some very, very powerful cards from the Muse deck. We have the Hierophantrix. This is this energy coming down and the molecules of our body, this energy balance. Everything in balance between our earth molecules and our divine consciousness becoming the Hierophantrix energy. 
and lighting pathways to other, becoming a beacon for others. Now, it's interesting because it's got the two of emotions, the card of balance, the balance of the consciousness and the balance of the molecules, the external and the internal working as one past the eclipse. And this is echoed by this card, Hierophantrix energy seated on the planet as if the planet itself is this huge emotional mass, divine masculine, sorry, energy finally. And what does this bring us? It brings us into our power. This is my most favorite tower card I've ever seen. So, this is not a tower moment like anything you've had before. This is about the old falling away and us becoming. This is Hierophantrix energy. She stands on her own little rock, her own sacred inner space, because she's in balance. Energy radiates out, radiates out of her. And all the pieces of things that are falling, she has the power to reform them, to send them back up and rebuild molecules. And that is what's going on at the moment. That's the smaller fractal frequencies in our DNA that the cosmos changed a long time ago, that's coming down through the sun, through our hearts, through our body, into the earth, back out again, and all the way back through this looping energy that's changing. And the final card that we had from, and the only one that he gave us from the Light Seers deck is the three, uh, the three ages of women, the raw, the emotional, and the divine in total harmony in power. I mean, the, honestly, the cards, these are all such blissful energies. And we've got lots of aquamarine, paradise, divine feminine ray, healing energy coming up from the earth grid and coming out through us to heal absolutely everything so that's just a little reading to help us with what's going on don't forget the eclipse is going to be uh it's going to be quite something it's going to be the energies are strong there's a lot of detoxing they're just saying detoxing over and over again diet they're saying over and over again look at what you eat Try and eat fresher, lighter foods. You know, if you're not a great cook, buy some fruit and eat some fruit so that you're eating lighter, raw foods. But you can Google information and you can find out things about how to eat more healthily. We've all got to do it. And they are going to say, yet again, you have to stop eating dead things because it's not, that's Age of Pisces energy. If we're going to move forward, you need to eat that which is vital, that which is full of life. Okay, so anyway, have a beautiful eclipse. I will not be probably online for a few days because I'm going to switch off. So I know you're all going to send beautiful comments. Um, and I really, I love reading everything you write. It's, it's, it's so wonderful. But I am going to switch everything off for a little bit and just try and starve the age of Pisces, the media, the governments, the internet, of all their oxygen for a bit. Which is a bit strange because, you know, obviously I'm having a lot of popularity with all of you wonderful people and I'm not snubbing you. <laughs> I just, spirit just says to me, you just need to stop for a bit and just leave the phone at home. Don't turn it on and just go with the flow and meet people by accident or arrange to meet them ahead of time and then just do it. So they're kind of saying, find a new energy for a bit before reopening the internet. So I will look at all of your comments. I'm not going away forever, obviously, but just bear in mind that probably from tomorrow, um, 
for the 24 hours before the eclipse, I'm probably going to stop replying or sending you any little messages. But I'm really, truly, absolutely humbled and grateful to all the wonderful things you keep saying to me. You are such lovely, beautiful people. And I really, really want you all to have a wonderful eclipse. And I want you to find your inner hierophantrix so that we can all come out of this as really beautiful beacons to help each other. Okay, anyway, what's out? Really enjoy yourselves. Bye.